I am absolutely delighted to introduce the fifth edition of my performance management textbook. Hi, I am Herman Aguinis, professor at the George Washington University in Washington, DC. This updated and expanded fifth edition is particularly timely because performance management is now more critical than ever for firms to be able to have a competitive advantage. For example, Facebook, now called Meta, went on a talent rating spree and poached more than 100 Apple employees. What did Apple do? It used its performance management system to very quickly and efficiently identify top performers. Those are the people who may be tempted to go to Meta and then offer them bonuses ranging from 50,000 to as much as $180,000. Because of its performance management system, Apple knew who these top performers were and prevented a turnover tsunami that allowed them to have the upper hand in the war for talent. I am very excited about this fifth edition because it continues to implement my mission to make it easy and fast for you as an instructor to prepare and teach a course that is also educational and fun for your students. I am so proud that more than 230 instructors have used the textbook in courses with students with interests in HR, accounting, finance, marketing, sports, business analytics, and many other disciplines. Why is this book used with students across so many fields? Because every leader and every manager is responsible for evaluating and improving the performance of their employees. This applies to small and large firms and also to firms in all industries your students will learn how to make performance management a useful and insightful business and talent management tool instead of a once a year, soul crushing and time wasting exercise mandated by the HR function. Let me share my favorite five reasons why teaching and performance management, employee development and training, compensation, talent management, or people analytics course will be easy and enjoyable for you by using this book. Ready? Drum roll. <laughs> Reason number five. Each of the 11 chapters includes two hands-on exercises and two case studies for discussion. I already used most of them in my own courses. And I can tell you that students have a lot of fun with these. Using these exercises and cases, it will be easy for you to implement an effective experiential learning approach in every class, be it in person or online. Reason number four, the book comes with an instructor's manual with PowerPoint slides and a test bank, and also more case studies that you can use for in-class discussions, online discussion boards, or if you want as homework or take-home exams. I have received feedback from instructors saying that their teaching evaluations are excellent, in part because they took advantage of all of these resources that come with the book. Reason number three, each chapter has a list of actionable learning objectives at the beginning and then summary points at the end. This helps you and your students organize the material into specific and useful rubrics and also outcomes. Reason number two, the book is modular with 11 chapters divided into four sections. So you can split the material depending on whether your course takes place over a semester, quarter, or just four weeks. In fact, I just finished teaching a version of the course over just four weeks, and it worked great. I also taught the course online during an entire semester, and it also worked very well because each week I was able to create quizzes using the test bank and discussion boards using the exercises and cases at the end of each chapter. Finally, the reason number one why teaching your course using this book will be enjoyable for you and a good educational experience for your students is that it includes, it includes company spotlights. Uh, these are boxes throughout the text featuring companies like The Gap, Nike, Adobe, U.S. Department of Defense, Goldman Sachs, Google, Airbnb, Netflix, Microsoft, Accenture, and many, 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 many companies. I also included examples of less known small and startup businesses. So you will be able to use 
plenty of real examples on how performance management is actually implemented. Thank you for watching this video and please email or call me if you have any questions. I very much look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.